Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Aries. This is Queen Amun-Ra coming to you with a special reading on today. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I know that you are. All right, Aries, let's get into your reading, okay? We're not going to take too much time because we know how special all the Aries are, right? Aries, your duality is masculine. So what that means is that that male energy, has it has nothing to do with what you identify as or who you identify as. Whether you identify as a man or woman, it's still divine masculine energy. That male energy is direct, like a straight line. So it projects outward. And it secures and has a giving nature. Right. So Aries, because you all are givers, doesn't matter whether you're a man or woman, identify as man or woman. Because you all are givers, the thing that throws you off track is when you deal with takers, not receivers. There's a big difference. A taker will take until you have nothing left, Aries. And so this is where you, you as a cardinal sign, have to set boundaries so that you will know the difference between a taker and and a receiver. A receiver will balance that male energy out. So receivers are of divine feminine energy, right? Doesn't matter whether you identify as a man or woman, uh, they are they are nurturers. And they have receiving, they have that receiving nature, right? So you can you will do very well with another giver. You all are giving very direct or someone who fully understands you and who is a nurturer. And can be secure with your giving and you're secure with them being a nurturer, okay? You are, your triplicity is that you're a fire sign, right? Your quadruplicity or your quality is that you're a cardinal sign. You you take the initiative. So what all that means is that Aries is active. You all are energetic. You're excitable. You're impulsive. You're optimistic. You're open to change and new experiences, right? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things about my Aries. Uh, Aries that's vibrating at the highest frequency has strong leadership, amazing self-confidence, positive energy, brave, creative, courageous, determined, confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest, passionate, and all a host of other wonderful things, right? Wonderful characteristics. If you start to feel like you are starting to feel selfish, and I don't mean, I don't mean self-care, but I mean like you don't care about anybody else, right? Um, because remember, you all are givers, right? If you start to feel like you're attention seeking, outbursts of anger, lack of patience, impulsive behavior, you got to check the energies that are around you. You got to check the energies. That can mean social media energy. That can mean energy from people that you work with. It can mean energy from um, a significant other. It can be energy from anything, anything that is disrupting your high vibrating energy. You got to check it. Got to check who's around you, okay, Aries? That's what I want you to know. People like most about you is that you're courageous, right? You have the, you're not, you're not interested in small and petty stuff, right? So you go for the best. That's your motto in life. Your special color is red, the color of fire and excitement, right? And so your symbol is the ram. Rams are assertive, sexual, able to climb to great heights. That is you, all of my Aries. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Aries as it relates to spirituality and where they need to take action. Also, in areas of um, money and wealth, also in areas of power and intellect, and also in areas of creativity and emotions. What information do we have for my wonderful Aries? What information do we have for my wonderful Aries? Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful, Aries. You know what, Aries? Y'all crack me up. <clears throat> Listen, when I'm talking to Aries, if somebody else tells me that somebody, people have accused you all from going from, a, from zero to a thousand, you know, and going off on people, I'm telling you, it's because people have pushed you all to go there. I'm telling you. Aries are some of the sweetest people in the world. And like I said, you all are givers, right? And when you deal with takers, those are the only ones that say, oh, yeah, the Aries went off on me. And then my comeback is you probably did something to deserve it. <laughs> Don't get mad at me, cross watchers. I just know what I'm talking about. I'm talking to my high vibrating Aries, okay? So listen, Aries. Oh, lots of wonderful things happening for you all. So this, oh, okay. I love this. Lots of things. This has to do with the workplace. 
Lots of prospects for you all, right? Lots of room for advancement, lots of prospects. You all have this, like I said, you all are givers, right? Very compassionate people. This has to do with your money. Very compassionate people, you all are givers, right? And so you all like to give your best in every situation, that fire energy, right? And and people are starting to take notice. You've been very you've been very um conservative when it comes to your money, and that is a okay. Very, very conservative with your money. But you all are givers. I'm gonna tell you something, um, Aries. Not everybody has the same makeup that you all have. And this is this is your superpower. The fact that you all are strong leaders, right? That you have an amazing self-confidence, that you're very, very that you are very, very have a lot of positive energy, and that you're courageous. You all will go after things that a lot of people won't go after because they're too afraid to do it, right? You're not interested in a small, petty stuff. You're interested in just getting it done, just going for it, going for the gusto. So a lot of you all are experiencing complete synergy in the workplace. That's everything's in sync. The energy is in the right place in the workplace. Yeah, somebody's mm -hmm. Somebody's getting promotions. Somebody is loving life right now where their money is concerned. They are, this is you also investing in yourself. I love this. Look at you being very patient. You've been investing in yourself. You know, look at you just, just shining just you know perched up <laughs> listen Aries oh my goodness I love it lots of prospects not only that look at you just very compassionate I'm telling you people you cannot buy compassion <laughs> towards other people you really can't you have some people that's just like they'll do whatever it takes to get to the top whatever it takes and so you all always just kind of land on your feet. You know what I'm saying? Like you all are, like I said, you are assertive, but you're not aggressive. See, assertive is different than being aggressive. Aggressive, there's a hostile spirit behind that, being aggressive. Being assertive is, listen, this is what I want. I know that I deserve to be in this position, and, and here I am. Not only do I have the education behind me, and I'm not talking about degrees. I'm just talking about you are educated in particular areas. And so others see you as being upbeat. You have this magnetic personality. Um, you know how to pull people towards you. You know, you bring excitement into people's lives, right? And so people envy that assertiveness, you know, they, they envy that, right? A lot of people are sitting back like, oh, I wish I could be more like the Aries because they know exactly what they want and they're just going for it. And so you're admired also for your honesty. So you don't gloss over stuff. That's your superpower, Aries. That is your superpower. So for some of you all, like I said, get ready for that promotion. Lots of advancement, lots of money here. You know, people just really, really like your energy. They really like that fire inside of you. So this is what I'm seeing for you in your cards. And plus, we just had that harvest moon too, Aries. Whew. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm serious. Mm-hmm. Look at this. <laughs> mm. Oh, look at, oh my goodness. Listen, Aries, I am so, listen, I'm so excited for you all. Look at this lover's card, right? When I pull up the lover's card, I don't initially, the initial thought that comes in my spirit is not somebody in your life that's a twin flame, okay? Because remember, you're your first twin flame. You, this is, this represents duality, right? <clears throat> so duality, you're already divine masculine, male energy, right? You're a giver. You also know how to nurture yourself. That's that female energy. That's that divine feminine, right? Again, we don't, it doesn't matter what you identify as. You can identify as male or female, but this is your, you are your yin to your yang. Powerful. And so because you know how to love yourself, because you are assertive and going after the things that you want, people are recognizing that. People love to be around Aries, that energy. Especially people who are secure with themselves. You know what I'm saying? They're not trying to sabotage you, not trying to do any of that, right? Look at this. We got all these wonderful cards here. You all know how to use 
what you have in your toolbox to get what you want in every area of your life, Aries. I'm telling you, just amazing, amazing, amazing. This is the magician. This is about you knowing how to pull a rabbit out of a hat while other people are sitting back waiting. You're up there like you're the one that's in front of the line going. Psh. Like when Aries season comes and I start doing my giveaway for Aries. I already know the moment this video pops up and I start saying the first Aries that emails me or calls me or whatever, you get this gift or whatever, I know it's going to be tons of emails in my boxes because you all will go after what you want. A lot of you all sat back and did some soul searching and decided, you know what, it's go time. I've been planting my seeds for this harvest and now I'm expecting everything I put out there in that universe. You have been treating people right. Your heart has been in the right place. You have been speaking things into existence and now you're starting to see things come to fruition. Keep on doing it, Ari. Keep doing it. You all deserve every bit of the happiness coming your way. And the workplace where your money is getting better and your love life, everything is getting better. And see this lover's card right here? This is the Gemini card. Um... This is, again, about duality first, right? And so who's going to love you better than you? Nobody. But so you're teaching yourself what you will and what you won't accept in your love relationships. So if someone were to come into your love field, that, that space that you have, that energy space that you have, if they're not treating you with the love that you would give yourself or better, then there's no room for them, right? Right? Same thing in every other aspect of your life. Tower card. You all just got a big revelation. Things are suddenly crystal clear to you. It was like your old self is gone and this beautiful person has emerged. We're not talking about the death and rebirth card. I'm talking about what I'm talking about here is revelation. Wow, I am just that awesome. That kind of revelation, Aries. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I am that person. Woo! Let me walk in it and own it at all times. That's you, Aries. I want you all to continue being patient with this growth process that's happening with you right now. Of just recognizing and stepping into your power and knowing exactly who you are. You started loving yourself deeper and harder and everything else fell off. I'm loving this. And you also be patient with yourself at all times just be patient with yourself in every area of your life but i'm telling you some of y'all oh my goodness that compassion and that cur that compassion for other people and that courage um that courage meaning that you were assertive going after what you want is the thing that's getting you everything that you want that you that you put out there in that universe amazing congratulations to my aries you all are out here doing it people are sitting back while they sitting back Wishing and hoping and dreaming. <laughs> Aries is out there getting it. You hear me? I'm loving this energy. Y'all are out here doing it. Y'all are out here getting everything y'all said y'all wanted. <laughs> Woo. You know what it is? Okay, Aries, let me just stop for a second because I'm serious when I say this. You all are like the people who will plant, plant all these seeds. And while other people looking out the window to see, okay, little bud grew up here. Y'all are out there checking it every day. This is you all being assertive. I'm checking on. I'm checking on the seeds that I planted. And so when you see that first, you know, tomato or that first whatever pop up out of the ground or come off that tree because you've been planting all these wonderful seeds, okay, it's harvest time. But see, you all take it the next step because you all are... You all are farmers. You know, I'm using an analogy. You all are farmers. And so it's not just about picking it off the trees or pulling it out of the ground. It's like, okay, let me set up my stands because now I'm opening up a farmer's market. It's time to sell these things and make some money. Y'all take it to the next level is what I'm trying to say. I love it. Look at this. Let it go. So for some of you all, okay, mm, 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 mm. Look, if you don't know how powerful you are by now, and I'm talking to just some of the Aries because the, the, the Aries that I talk to on the phone, y'all are out here going out here getting it, right? What I want you all to do is this. Remember I said that because you all are givers, 
when you deal with takers, takers will leave you bone dry. They will leave you in just a complete disarray in your in your spirit. Like what the heck just happened? Right? I need you all to forgive yourselves first, forgive them and move forward. Let it go. Any resentment, any anything that you're harboring against somebody who hurt you, it could have been an ex, it could have been an ex lover, an ex romantic relationship, it could have been an ex whomever. It doesn't matter. Let it go because there's too much out there for you to get. It's way too much out there for you to get. You all are not, you all were not created to be assertive for nothing. You all deserve every wonderful thing coming your way. And I mean every wonderful thing coming your way, right? So, you know what's interesting about this number 24? Let's get in close here. Two plus four is six. When you look at a number six, it looks like a woman with a pregnant belly, right? You all have so much to offer this universe, like giving birth to so many wonderful things out here that the rest of the world could benefit from. That's where your, your courage comes in. Not only are you assertive, you're courageous, you're compassionate. Look at this right here. This Mother Earth energy towards the world. That is why you all will never, I'm speaking this prophetically, and I'm speaking it into existence for people who may not have seen um, seen the harvest yet because it's coming. All of those things for you is what gets you the life that you want. You all are not to go at you all are not afraid to go after some things that pe there are people who are afraid to go after because they look they feel like they look a certain way they feel like they all the, these these roadblocks that people create that's not you all at all so let go of anything that you think is a hindrance because you have no hindrance you're the you have the power Aries you have the power to create the lifestyle that you want right. And so for those of you who have gotten out of a relationship, you've taken the time to step back and do some soul searching on uh, and say, okay, the relationship with yourself is most important, right? The relationship with you is more important than the relationship with anybody else. So I don't want you to harbor any resentment towards yourself, any unforgiveness towards yourself, any anything that's uh, towards yourself that's going to stop or block you from getting you to where you need to be. Because like I said, once you let go, it's nowhere but up for you. I need you to be patient with yourself because like I said, a lot of you all have prospects in every single area of your life, in your love life, as far as your work is concerned, your personal relationships, platonic and romantic. Just every part of your life is just taking off. I mean, every part of your life. Anybody who meant you any harm, intentionally or even unintentionally, is about to have a tower moment. Meaning that things are going to come down abruptly for them where they're going to be like, wow. Just wow. That's any former managers, that's any former lovers, that's any family members, anything. We're speaking this out into existence. I'm looking at this tower card. For you, you're about to recognize how powerful you are. This is a revelation right here for you. For them, it is a wow. They are also about to recognize just how powerful you are. All right? That's what I have for you. Just let it go. Let the process happen. Walk in spirit of forgiveness, forgiving yourself first, and let the universe do the rest. That's what I have for you. Have a great day. Bye.